letters to Hawajima. Can you say holy crap? That was an amazing movie. It was amazing. The characters, the acting, the set, the lighting, the frames, everything was just perfect. I loved this movie. I would completely recommend it. I love the acting of Ken Wanadia, the general. And, uh, okay, I'm not even trying to pronounce the other guy's name, but they were both amazing actors. I was so drawn in by their issues and problems and lives at home. I felt so terrible. It just kind of shows you this movie. I, I can't say enough about the acting. The acting was above par, definitely. Um, I definitely enjoyed the lighting and how they made everything kind of brown like black and white brownish. It was very depictive of how like the mood of the movie, how it was very bleak and how everyone was just making jokes about death the whole time, like, oh we're gonna die. Yep, just we're gonna die. Just it was very depressing. And then how like bright red the flags were and how bright the um uh explosions were. They were very significant in showing the power of um technology, like, the, the how strength it is and the, um, heart of patriotism in the flags. That was very symbolic to me. Um, the framework was amazing. It felt, it was kind of like a Friday Night Lights. Have you ever watched that TV show? It was very kind of into it. Like you felt like you were there, like, jostled around kind of thing. Very realistic to me. Overall, I would definitely recommend this movie to really pretty much anyone who's mature enough to see it, because if you're, you know, 13, 12, under that age, you, you probably don't understand it, and you probably just get grossed up by the blood. It's very, um, it's a very mature movie, so make sure your kids are old enough to see it. <laughs> but um, I would definitely recommend this movie to anyone. It's a movie everyone should actually see. It's one of the best war movies, in my opinion, of all time. It's very insightful. That was my view.